Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about how we can classify direct and indirect variation. So let's talk about the difference between the two. So starting off with direct variation, we have the equation y equals a times x for some non-zero constant a. So that's the equation we want to focus on. Um, it can be re rewritten as y over x equals a. And we can use that when we're trying to identify the type of variation from a table of values. And we're going to do three examples of that in this video. So a set of data pairs are direct when the ratio y over x are constant. So if we're looking at a table of values, if when we do y divided by x, if those ratios are consistently constant throughout the table, then it would be direct variation. For indirect, we would write our equation as y equals a divided by x. So now notice that x is in our denominator. Um, and here, a cannot be 0. So a couple things, a is, the co is uh, commonly referred to as the constant of variation, and y is said to vary inversely with x. So just a little bit of uh, terminology there. Now once again, for a table of values, this equation could be rewritten as x times y equals a. And so now with our table of values, if our data pairs um, have products x times y, if those are constant, then we would say it is indirect variation, okay? So we're gonna look at six examples. Um, three of these examples have us looking at an equation and telling if it is indirect or direct. And for the last three, we have tables of values that we're going to, once again, classify as direct or indirect, okay? So number one, we have x times y equals 22. So I can go ahead and divide both sides by x here. And that's going to give me y is equal to 22 divided by x. So now I notice that x is in my denominator. So this is going to be an example of indirect variation. Now notice on number two, we have addition involved. So x plus 37. So this is going to be neither indirect nor direct. Number three, we have y divided by 7 is equal to x. So we could multiply both sides by 7. That's going to cancel that out. And we get y is equal to 7 times x. And that would be our example of direct variation because we have multiplication happening between a, which is seven, and x. All right, now for our three tables here at the bottom, let's remember what we talked about at the beginning of the video. If our variation is direct, then our ratio y divided by x should be constant. If our table of values is indirect, then our product x times y or y times x should be constant. So for, y, for our number four, we have x values of negative four through negative one y values of 20, 15, 10, and five. So if we look at these, we could say, okay, y divided by x, 20 divided by negative four would be negative five. 15 divided by negative three, 10 divided by negative two, and five divided by negative one. So the ratio y divided by x is constant. So we would say that this is an example of direct variation. All right, number five. If I looked at y over x again, negative six divided by two would be negative three, but negative four divided by three is not negative three. So we know it's not direct, so let's check for indirect, which would be multiplying y times x this time. So negative six times two, negative 12, negative four times three, negative three times four, and negative two times six. So notice how now x, y is constant, and so now this would be our example of indirect variation. And lastly, we have uh, number six, two, four, six, eight as our x values and 24, 16, 12, and four for our y values. So let's check y over x here and x times y here. So this would be 24 divided by two, 16 divided by four, 12 divided by six, and four divided by eight. So obviously we can see that these are not constant. So it's definitely not direct. 24 times two would be 48. 16 times 4 is 64, 72, and 32. And also, we notice that the products are not constant. So this would be an example of neither. Okay, And that's how you can classify between direct and indirect variation. 